The U.S. Embassy in Havana, Cuba could be closed in the near future. That's according to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who says that option is being considered after recent attacks against U.S. diplomats. Local 10's Hassel Vela, he is back from Cuba. He's joining us now live from production control with the details. Hatzel. Andrew, the people I'm talking to say that this doesn't mean the end of diplomatic relations, but it could mean the possibility of suspension of operations in Havana. On CBS Face the Nation, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson for the first time talks about repercussions Cuba could face in light of the so-called sonic attacks 21 American embassy workers suffered. We have it under evaluation. It's a very serious issue with respect to uh, the harm that cer certain individuals have uh, suffered. We've brought some of those people home. It's under review. What kind of message is he sending? I think he's sending a very clear message to the Cubans that the United States is not willing to tolerate uh, their diplomats uh, in a foreign country to be attacked, assaulted as they have been. Cuba expert and retired U.M. professor Andy Gomez says his sources in Washington are telling him the U.S. government is considering temporarily suspending all operations at the U.S. Embassy. That is short of breaking diplomatic relations. This is a real serious matter where diplomats in a foreign country, in this case Cuba, are not protected by the Cuban government. The Cuban government remains adamant they are not behind the so-called sonic attacks, which we know left 21 embassy workers with long-term physical injuries. But in Washington, there are three scenarios circling around. One, the Cubans are responsible. Two, they collaborated with another country like Russia or North Korea. Three, a rogue faction in the Cuban government did it because they wanted to damage U.S.-Cuba relations. And that might be working. And again, the Cuban government re denies responsibility, but they have allowed uh, agencies like the FBI and others in Canada to come into Havana and investigate. But that investigation still has not turned anything. Andrew, Cheyenne. All right, Hatzel, thank you.